second place as Bill Elliott comes up to challenge Kenny Schrader. Elliott down on the inside. Rick Wilson is sitting there trying to decide which one he's going to draft as the challenge now comes for the lead. Elliott down on the inside. That's Schrader just behind Earnhardt. Lower traffic running just ahead as they work their way past. Elliott is now dropping back as Schrader takes advantage of that slower car and forces Elliott back into third. Rick Wilson runs fourth. Oh, that is really racing. And the yellow flag flies. No indication as the reason for the yellow, but John, this is exactly what we were talking about. If you hit a yellow, it's going to give everybody a run to the finish. But certainly we will, Paul. There, Sterling Marlin has had a problem. He's obviously brushed the wall reason down for in the yellow. Down in turn three, and uh, there he sits on the apron uh, dead in the water. So as Sterling Marlin, the 44 car, rolls to a stop. As Sterling tries to figure out what to do about his about his Oldsmobile. The rest of the pack races around to the line, and Dale Earnhardt looks like he is going to head down into the pit. So Earnhardt rolls down onto the pit road for a splash of gasoline, and I think everybody's decided that's probably the smart thing to do here. So as Earnhardt hits, Ken Trader picks up the lead. We are under yellow. We'll be back after this. Stops four tires. Earnhardt, Earnhardt gets it. Walter gets away. Buddy Baker gets away. Firecracker 400 under caution. The reason for the caution is the 44 car, which now rolls down the pit road. Apparently, Sterling Marlin had his problems, got up against the wall coming off of the fourth turn. Let's go to the pits, Jerry Punch. Sterling Marlin just climbed out of the car. Sterling, what happened? Well, it looks like we cut a tire down going in three, uh, you know, because the Pete Mono under all those running good all day, and had a good shot. There was in the top five, and uh, after it restarted, the car just kept pushing, and you know, Jake thought it was chassis, just too tight, and evidently we had a tire going down, and uh, finally blowed out and hit the wall. Sterling, you were strong early on. Who is left? Who is the strong? Who's the stout man now out there as far as uh, Wilson or Earnhardt or any of the rest of the guys? Who's strong? Well, it's just going to depend on who gets where. Uh, you know, these tricky plates, it's just almost impossible to pass. It's pretty close, but uh, three, car, four, I don't know where the nine come from, but uh, 25, any of them, also. Safety crew just picked up your car and moved it away. I guess they felt it's through for the day. No chance of getting back. They killed it. Sterling Marlin out. So Sterling Marlin, quick little brush with destiny, and that brings out the caution, which ensures everyone will have enough fuel to run to the end of this race. Out in front of the pack, the 25 car of Ken Schrader will lead them back after the yellow flag. We'll be back with the finish of the Firecracker 400, but let's go now to Frank Gifford. 